Okay, so welcome to this class. In this class, we are going to be looking at how to create our request driver dialog, all right? So something like this, okay? So the first thing we need to do is to create a new layout XML. So I'm going to go to my resources, layout, and add a new file. So we're going to call this request driver, okay? So let's add this. So now it's loading, but we can go ahead and start writing our code, okay? So I'm going to add some part into this. So let's set the main height. I'm going to set it to 300 dp. And the main weight. We're going to set this to 420 dp, all right? So that's all we need to do here, okay? So we're gonna create a new relative layout. So we are going to be dividing our layout into three sections, the first one, the second section, and the last section, okay? So we're gonna have three relative layouts, all right? So the first one, I'm gonna set this to zero, the height to zero, because I want to make use of our layout width, our layout weight rather, okay? So I'm gonna say Android, dot layout weight i'm gonna use 0 0.3 so i want it so i'm gonna use 0 0.3 because i want the relative layout to occupy 30 percent of the entire space my layout width should be much parent okay so we're gonna define our progress bar okay layout width equal to 60 dp Okay, so we're gonna set indeterminate. We want it to always be rolling, okay? So we're gonna set this to true. We're gonna set the color, indeterminate tint. We're gonna set this to SROC, A top, all right? And this, the tint, I'm going to set this to add color, slash uber ascent color right and lastly i'm going to say android dot layout center horizontal i'm going to send this to true okay so it's jump to the center okay we need a text view wrap content match parent Gravity will be equal to center. I'm going to set some margin to the top, say 20 dp. So we need our text view to be under our progress bar. So we need to give this our progress bar an ID. I'm going to give it an ID. I'm going to call this progress, progress spinner. Okay. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to say Android dot layout below. Okay, and I'm going to say android.test. I'm going to say finding a nearby driver. So this should be all for this relative layout. So we need to define a new linear layer. Okay, so I'm going to say linear layout. The orientation should be radical. So let's set the layout width. It should be equal to match parent and the layout height will be equal to zero. This is because we are using layout width, right? So we're going to set the width, the width instead, layout weight. And this is going to be 0 0.5. We want it to occupy 50% of the entire layer, all right? So inside our linear layout, I'm going to define an image view, okay? I'm going to say image view. All right, so this is the nice pretty icon image that we have. So I'm going to say android.layout height. I'm going to use 70 dp. Okay, I'm going to set the same thing for our layout width. I'm going to set it 70 dp. SROC, that's the source of our image. I'm going to say at drawable slash icon image. 
right? Android dot layout gravity because we are using a, a linear layout we can only set the layout gravity okay I'm gonna set it to center horizontal so I need to set some margin right layout margin I'm gonna set this to 20 dp so let's continue the next thing we need to set will be a text view we need to define a text view right that will read estimated fare layout height Estimated fare. I'm gonna set our gravity. I'm gonna set our gravity to center. Okay, so everything is coming together, and so we need to set the test view that will show our estimated fare. All right. So I'm gonna define a new text view. Layout height. Match parent. I'm gonna call this first test. All right. I'm gonna set this to let's say two thousand dollars. Okay. I'm gonna make this bold. Test size. <laughs> make it twenty instead. So I'm gonna set some margin to the top. Okay. The last thing we need to do is to define our button. All right. Our cancel button, we need to have a cancel button here. All right, so let's fold this up and add a new relative layout. Okay, let's set the weight. This should be equal to 0 0.2 because that's what's remaining. That's 20%. Okay, so we're done here. We need to define our button. Okay, so I'm gonna say. So now let's define our button. So I'm going to say button Android ID. I'll call this cancel request button. Set the height to be 45 dp. I like 45, right? Set the width to match parent. And set this to false. I'm gonna use our drawable button template that we created earlier on. And this is Uber round button. I'm gonna write the test. Test will be cancel. Okay. I want the test color to be white. So I'm gonna say at Uber at color slash Uber white. Okay. So that's all we need to do here. Okay. So let's go ahead and save our layout. Now we need to go to our solution explorer. We need to create a new file. All right. We need to create a new fragment okay so we are done here the next thing we need to do is to create a new dialog fragment all right that will use this particular view as its layout okay so to do that we're going to go to our solution explorer because we are committed to keeping things really organized we need to create a new folder and this new folder we're going to call it fragment all right so all our fragments will be saved inside this folder okay so now let's go ahead and add a new fragment. So we're going to call this request driver. Okay, so we're going to add this. So the first thing we need to do is to define our layout. All right, so I'm going to open this code. We need to say view, view equal to, everything is set for us. I'm just going to add our layout, okay, which is request driver. I'm going to delete this and return view okay so guys because this is going to be a dialogue fragment I'm going to change this all right I'm going to say Android dot support dot v4 dot app dot dialogue fragment okay so now the next thing we need to do is to define our text views and our buttons okay so we're gonna say button cancel request okay and i'm going to define our test view tst fares all right so we need to reference this and where we are going to do that is in our on create view method so i'm going to say cancel request i'm going to add button to it so cancel request button will be equal to button view dot find view by id resource 
dot id dot cancel request button okay so we're going to do the same for the tst first so i'm getting annotation supposed to be first test first test equal to test view view dot find view by id resource dot id first test okay so we are done with this now guys we need to bring the value of our estimated test so that we can display it in our first test so to do that we need to create a constructor all right that will send in our first value so that we can now display it on our first test all right so to do that i'm going to create a constructor so we need to say public request driver okay here i'm going to so i'm going to add a parameter here okay double fares okay so we need to create another variable here m fares so now m fares will be equal to fares so now the next thing to do is to use this value okay so we're going to say first test dot test equal to dollar plus m fares dot to string okay so that's all we need to do here so now we need to go back to our main activity and initialize this dialog framework okay so we're going to go to our main activity so we need to define our request driver as a global variable all right so i'm going to go to the top so i'm going to define our request driver here all right so i'm going to put a new segment fragment and i'm going to say request driver So we're going to bring in the reference. Let's fix this. And we're going to call this request driver. Let's go ahead and add fragment to it so that we we'll always know that this is a fragment. All right. So we need to initialize this dialog when we click on request tab button. All right. So we need to go to the request button event handler, all right? Okay, it seems that we've not added the event handler, so we need to add the event handler, okay? So to do that, we need to grab a reference of our request button, right? So I'm going to go to where I define all my buttons and define a new button, okay? So I'm going to say, button i'm going to call this request driver button okay so let's go to our connect controls method and grab the reference of this button okay so here i'm going to say request driver button be equal to button find view by id resource dot id dot request driver button okay so now let's add a new click event handler for this so i'm going to come here and say request driver button dot click plus echo to and space okay so here we have it now i'm going to copy this into our click event handler region boom so let's go ahead and initialize our request driver fragment so to initialize our dialog fragment i'm going to say request driver fragment equal to new request driver all right now i need to pass it our fares all right so we need to pass it our fares i'm going to say map helper dot estimate fares so this will return our estimated fares right so guys let's proceed the next thing we're going to say is request driver fragment not cancelable we set this to false so we're going to define our transaction manager we're going to save our trans will be equal to support fragment manager dot begin transaction all right so the next thing to do is to display our request driver fragment okay let's say request driver fragment dot show I'm going to pass it my transaction manager and 
We're going to put a tag. We're going to say request as a tag. All right? So this chunk of code, we actually display our dialogue. So let's run this and see if this actually works. Okay? Okay, so our build is finishing. Okay, so everything seems to be working well. So let's go ahead and set our pickup location, right? And so we have to do this in order to test our request dialog, right? Okay, so let's click on done. All right, so let's click on request cap. Boom. All right, it seems some things are not well organized. We need to take care of this, all right? So guys, let's fix this. So let's go back to our XML file. Okay, it seems we made some mistake in our design. So let's look for yeah, the other areas and fix it. I think the error will probably be coming from our mean width and mean height. So let's go to the top. Okay, mean height. 300 so this was supposed to the mean width was supposed to be 300 dp and the mean height was supposed to be 420 dp okay and let's ch let's change this to 10 dp as well all right so i think this will solve the problem so let's go ahead and test this and ensure that everything works just the way we want it Okay, so let's set our pickup location. So guys, for the most part in the app, I'm actually going to be using these two locations for my pickup and my destination. So I just hope that you guys just get used to that and don't get bored. Okay, so we select our destination. So now let's click on the done button. And it draws the route. So click on request tab. Boom. So this is exactly how we expected it to come out. So now we have our wonderful and nice looking request dialogue. So guys, see you in the next class.